Hi, hi. Now let's first a little update on where I'm at at my uh, mason project here. Um, I have got the lime mortar on the door and put the last stone in, and uh, I ha it is uh, it is painted. That that wall there over here, I'm not finished. You can see down there. There's some repair on the wall on the bottom there. Uh, there, there come a little moisture in there, but uh, I can fix that. And uh, over here I have plan on some shelves and uh, shelves <laughs> and uh, my, my hoses, my air hoses and water hoses and uh, extension cord or things. They shall hang over here. I, I'm working on uh, the air up there. And you can see up there there's my uh, my dinky, it's hanging up there on the, over my car, so it's uh, off. So, so uh, it's not in the way here in the winter time, and it, it's easy to to take down when I use it in the summer time. Um, what can I say? Over there, it's almost finished. I need little more over there, but that's almost finished. Let's see if you can see that. I have two old, uh, what can I, I think there are many names for them, uh, Hoovers or Vacuums or, it, it's, I don't know, I think there are different names in different countries for them, but, but it's, we call them uh, Dust Sucker <laughs> here in Denmark, and uh, it, it's, they are, really old, <laughs> almost as old as me. I think they are almost 50 years old, old these two. I have uh, 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 spare parts to them up on my attic. But th they were made in a time when things were made to last and they can handle lime uh, dust or really tough dust and they continue running. and. Uh, yeah, no, there are not so much suction in them. That's because I have two, but they can handle almost everything. So uh, I have these two to to uh, to to suck what up what I need in the, the shop. And uh, you can see, I I have a pipe, up new pipe put on, up there, that's going out uh, to to where I have to sit my bandsaw. So, so I can make something to suck up the sawdust from from it. Let's take a look on the other side. Here is the door on the, on the other side, and you can see I'm not all finished yet. Uh, you can see up there. There's a pipe coming out to the to the suction or the power also to the bandsaw. And uh, let's take a little look from another side. And uh, I I'm working, uh, I have been busy with uh, making my boat ready for the winter. It it's beginning to be, be cold here in Denmark, so uh, I it's ready to come up. I have to call the, the guy with the truck and uh, then we take it up. But, but many of the things, I, I have that shelf up there where I put it. You can see the, the cushions are lying there. So they are off the way here in, in the winter time. So uh, that, that's how, where I am at, at this moment here. And uh, let, let's continue with the, the tool project. I have cut a piece of this piece of brass here. And uh, I'll turn the, the, the old threads off here and face it off in the end so I have a, a fine piece of material to work with. Now I have turned it, it round to, to, just to have a, a nice piece to work with and now uh, I will drill a hole through it to a 8mm uh, tap so I can make threads inside it.
Now it's through. Let, let's see if I can make threads in there. I think I'll put a little chamfer on it. Let's see. I have these two tabs here. That one should just could reach through it. And I, I think I'll start with that one here. I have some uh, step. It's three different tabs you use. Uh, one will take a little and a little more and then just the last one. It's not from the same set but I think I'll use that one here first to, to make it make yeah to, to make the start now I have put put this one in I made for, for a while ago and then now I'll try to make the, the threads in there let's see oh. and what can I do I remember could yes it works Feels right. I won't see it. <laughs> it's not that's not really bad. Let's try again. I think it's working. Now I had the, f the first tap in and don't don't look like it is wobbling all over the place. It's actually looking pretty fine. That's I'm pleased with that. Now I'll take this one out here and. Uh, Try the other tab with, with the full you can, with the full depth of the the threads. Hmm. I'm not sure if I should put any oil in here. That uh, I'm. Not, I have seen uh, my Ford boy uh, make a lot of things in brass and, and I don't think he used oil. So uh, it may, maybe I have got it wrong, but uh, it looked like that it is working this year. Don't feel bad. not looking bad. I'm not so used to doing these things here. So uh, I'll let 
this one here run through and then let's see where we are. Now, now I will drill just, uh, I'll start with seven and a half, half millimeter in here for this relief here. So let's try to do that. I hope it's not grabbing too much. Let it go a little, a little slower. That is zero there. Let's try it. Yes, now I have put it in and let, let's try to see if it will go in. Yes. That is not bad. Okay. Now I'll see if I can make uh, on the brass here a, a little taper just like it, it has I don't think it have to be much, but just so it will uh, could could be screwed a little longer in. So on it should up here, but uh, let's try to do that. Now I <laughs> sit and adjust it and so on to to get that to can be in there. And uh, it's not easy for me. This is here, but let's try it. <laughs> Getting a taper. Let's try to put it in and see how it is fitting. Now uh, I just leave. Clean the, the threads in the bottom there. And then uh, let's see. can tighten it uh, later. Uh, I'll turn it down now. I don't need it so thick and uh, then I'll leave the piece standing here and make two flat squares here so I can tighten it with a wrench. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I, I think it is working. I can't tighten it now here. It is just like it is dragging. There's a little there but because I can't put it all in but uh, let's see later how it is going 
Now I have uh, turned it a little down. I need to go a little further. But then I almost think it begin to, to be there. So um, I'll take the last cut and polish it and then we will see how it is looking. Yes, now I think we have the right thickness on it. Now let's try to put it together. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work. But then. And now we, you can see here. You can, you can, it, now I'll try tomorrow and uh, make the two slots in here or just the fine uh, slot in here and then that one is tapered and that one is tapered the other way and then it should be possible to tighten it here up there and then to put the high speed tool in here and, and here I'll maybe cut it a little off down here and then I'll make two uh, cutouts here so uh, I can use I don't know, maybe not really glad, uh, a tool here a uh, wrench just to tighten it in here and then it should grab on it there so uh, and now I'll make that nice also so, and uh, if it if it's going to work, then I'll cut it here and then put a, like a fine piece of mahogany handle on it. <laughs> and I think I have made a, a, a little <laughs> tool. <laughs> it has taken a long time for me, <laughs> but uh, I enjoy it, and I hope I learn something. Now I have put it put it it in the vise and uh, I have a parallel under it so uh, and uh, it is not all the way. no so uh, I have a one and a half millimeter drill in here and uh, I'll try to drill a hole through there uh, I'll go it really easy oh that's looking fine Okay, that was no problem. So now, now I'll try to make this setup I have thought through. Uh, it's a little funnier setup, but uh, I'll try to make it. 
Now I have made the setup. I'm not sure it's going to work, but uh, let, let's try it. You, you can see I have put my, uh, I have uh, a little drill of kind. It runs real fast with a, a, a slit, little slitting disc in here. And uh, I have put the, the piece I want to cut in the drill shock, or in a collet here. And uh, now I will try to start it, and then I can feed it with with uh, the handle here, and just go up and down like this. I'll go really, really, really slow, but uh, let's try it. Okay. Okay, we try to go. I'm not sure I can film all of it because it takes a lot of time, but I'll show you some steps in it. Now I, I'm finished. I, it, it looked like that it would work. So now I'll try to take it off uh, and put uh, the brass piece on to see if it is enough to clamp it down or I need to make one, uh, one cut more. Now I'm making the two flat surfaces here to, to, to fit a 13 millimeter wrench. I have made the first part here and, and it should be 1.5 millimeter off in both sides. This one here is 16 millimeter. So uh, I'll do that and I'll go uh, uh, not quite 1.5. <laughs> so so uh, let's see. I'm doing it in two. taking only 1.4 and uh, let's see how it is working. Yes, I 
but uh, I wanted to hear two tight fit. Uh, that's okay, that's fine. Uh, uh, I have taken a uh, uh, tenth of a millimeter less. Oh, let's stop that one. Uh, so uh, I should have taken half more here and half more here, but but that it's only a wrench that is uh, fit. So <laughs> yeah, okay, I know. <laughs> Now I have put it together. Uh, I had to adjust it a little in here, but uh, I actually think that it is working. So let, let's try and see. I turn this one up here, and then I can put the tool I want to grind in there. And these two bolts are just to hold it. Is. And then I just tighten it, not so much, you see now, now it's sitting tight here and now I can go over to the stone and, and grind it. I think I'll try to make a, a mahogany handle to it. That, 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 I, I, I have used a lot of time to do to make this so uh, I'll make a uh, mahogany handle on that. <laughs>